Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very, very cold and slightly windy and February day I think it is now during this never-ending lockdown we're doing some walk-around videos of some of our newly arrived stock and this particular one we've just been lucky enough to buy in we are still buying in all through lockdown is an absolutely stunning uh, very late 2020 uh, on a 70 plate auto sleeper Kingham now auto sleeper for those of you who don't know are Britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer they've been going I think since the 1950s based in uh, Willersley up in the, the beautiful Cotswolds and they are known for building uh, their old traditional monocoque coach built so they used to be known for and very high-end luxury van conversions and they're still one of the best in the trade at doing luxury van conversions now this particular one the Kingham was a bit of an escape from um, from the more stereotypical British layouts they do in that it has a fixed bed so it's a fixed bed van conversion with a British twist so you get a bit of comfort and a bit of a kitchen as well very good kitchen in fairness to it which is what certainly sets the Kingham apart from its continental uh, competition. So this particular one, we're very lucky to get it in fairness to it, it is a 70 plate, it was registered in October 2020 so it's a matter of uh, months on the road. It has done 450 miles, 50 of which were with myself and it's never been slept in. It's basically in as new condition, if not better. Uh, it's absolutely immaculate. Uh, auto sleepers give you everything as standard, so there's not a lot you can add to these. They are fully, absolutely spec to the hilt, as we'll see as we go around. This one, particular one, is looking really, really nice in gold and white metallic, which really sets it off well. On the Peugeot Boxer, uh, they call it the extra long wheelbase, uh, so it's 6.34 metres, although the wheelbase is the same as the 6 metre van, so practicality wise it's the same, um, but it just gives you that extra bit of room which has enabled them to fit in a fixed bed and all the luxury and facilities of a big coach built van but we're seeing a huge swing towards these van conversions now as you can go anywhere in it it's quite stealthy you can just use it for a day out if you want in fairness to it even if you're not going away if you're going up the moors or down to the beach or whatever take the van instead of take the car use it as a second car it's a multi-purpose vehicle but it's got all the kit and coat and comfort of a big coach built van so looking absolutely gorgeous in uh, gold and white metallic based on the Peugeot Boxer we've got LED daytime running lights we've got the silver style pack full uh, color coded bumpers 16 inch alloy wheels for a nice smooth ride along with uh, rear air suspension which we'll talk about in a moment we'll have a little walk around the outside of it you can see auto sleeper build these on the Peugeot window van so you've got factory fitted um, thermally treated tinted windows which look very very smart full color coded door handles uh, on the back you've got a standard the alco air suspension which you can uh, top up and drop down through there i think it's alco it's certainly air suspension actually so you can run with no air in it whatsoever and it's just like having normal springs and dampers but normally you'd have a little bit of air in either airbag which you can adjust there and that will just smooth the ride off at the back end level the ride off uh, it's a nice thing it's not an essential thing but it's standard as part of these uh, luxury van conversions now this one is priced at 54.95 now if you walked into an auto sleeper dealer today and said mr auto sleeper dealer I want to buy a Kingham uh, he will charge you over £61,000 whereas you can buy this one from us much nicer 450 odd miles and it's got an alarm fitted outside of the standard very high spec um, for a massive saving so it's a really really good buy we've checked it against all the others for sale at the moment we think it's the best value one in the country uh, it won't hang around so on the outside you've got a full length uh, awning light there really nice LED awning light you've got a wind out full length two lay uh, Omnistore awning and we'll come around the back we've got these practical black rubbing strips which I like they break up the the color a little bit and they're very very good for uh, car park dings and scrapes we've also got a standard gas barbecue point which I've got very very cold fingers there we go there's your gas barbecue point there never been used like the rest of the van it's not been used um, high level reversing camera up the back there which uh, uses your uh, sat nav uh, screen which we'll see on the inside as a monitor 
And because it's a fixed bed, I mean, without a fixed bed in your van conversion, you do struggle a little bit for storage space sometimes. A lot of people downsize to a coach built and find where can I put anything. But with a fixed bed, you both gain a very, very comfortable mattress. You got this nice bedding set on it as well. You got this um, Duvalet style. I don't know if it is a Duvalet, but it's sort of nice foam mattress. Uh, and then you've got a big, big bit of storage which you can access from the back of the van. Loads of room underneath of there, and you can just lift it up. Oh, oh, there we go. Look, we've got adjustable back here, headrest as well. I didn't realise it did that. That's really, really cool. Uh, from the other end, it cantilevers up from the inside, so you can access it from the inside as well, which is really, really smart. Don't know how to get that back down again, so we'll move on from there. Corner washroom, uh, that's where your set for cassette toilet opens or dumps from. You got these concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows. You can see this one's so freshly arrived, I've still left my tray plates in it. Again, full colour coding around the back. And then walking down the driver's side, we've got fridge vents. Now this has got an underslung gas tank, this van. So instead of having to carry gas bottles, it's got a large underslung gas tank that you fill up with LPG at a petrol station through that little hatch there, which we'll show you further up. Uh, and that is much, much cheaper. And it means you can run things when you aren't on main took up from your gas tank, which is much bigger than a gas locker. You can fill up anywhere across Europe, unlike your color gas bottles. It takes up no internal space and the gas is incredibly cheap, which is really good. You can see it's such a nice looking van, full side windows all the way around there. Down here we've got external socket points, really really handy, got an external 12 volt socket point so if you want to get a submersible pump to suck water into your water tank you can do or you can just stick a hose in it like normal. Inside this one we've got where your water goes in so if you want to use a little submersible pump it plugs in there. We've got mains hook up and on the roof up there we've got a TV aerial that you can't see because of the sun, there's the TV aerial. We've got roof bars and there's a solar panel up there as well so it's really really good for off hook up camping. That's where you fill up your LPG, fill it up at an LPG gas pump at a petrol station. So you'll find them all across Europe uh, and all across the UK as well. 30 litres, 30 kilos, so that's um, two and a half times the size of the average gas locker on a British van, and so it will last you potentially for years in fairness to it. Um, smart alloy wheels, little stubby van mirrors, really good down the country lanes. We've got full cab blinds as you would expect from Remis, the new frameless style window blinds. We've got Eco Pack auto stop start technology. We've got an alarm system fitted which you'll need for insurance as well. It's also got a factory fitted tracker. Leather gear stick and steering wheel, multifunction steering wheel with buttons for controlling your sat-nav Bluetooth DAB stereo system with your reversing camera, which is up there actually, there's your reversing camera, I should have known that. So your reversing camera's mirror mounted monitor, which is better. Um, and then that does your sat-nav and your stereo and your Bluetooth hands-free phone calling and all that malarkey. Full cab windscreen blind comes across the front as well for darkening really really nice and there is not a mark on this van it's got a bit of road scars on it because i drove it across dartmoor the other day bringing it back but um, it is all absolutely spotless and as good as new but for several thousand pounds less so can you go wrong you can't really can you so let's have a look on the inside oh it's very very cold in the wind today do excuse the noise also we've got the a38 over there thundering past with all the people who aren't locked down at home Coming into the van, we've got a very big, not a very big, but we've got a large-ish side sofa, which is very, very comfortable. Sleepers do soft furnishings, arguably as well, if not better than anybody in the trade. Twin swivel captain seats to the front with the embossed Oort Sleepers logo. Sensible one armrest, so you can swivel them round easier. And it's a really nice, comfortable lounge space with these really thick pile luxury carpets. We've got two tables. We've got one that go in there. That's like a coffee table. That's where the leg goes for it. We've got the really nice sculpted side sofa. Got these nice 12 volt reading lights, which are on a little scale electrics track, so you can run them backward and forward. High level storage cupboards of a good depth. Above the lounge, we've got a nice um, hecky roof light. Across from there, we've got mission control for your heating in your van. So we've got whale heating system, which is underslung to save space, and that heats your water or heats your van or both. And that uses gas if you're not hooked up to the mains from your gas tank very cheaply, or it uses mains electric if you are hooked up to the mains, or it can use both uh, if you want to heat up quicker. 
Your touchscreen control panel is nowhere near as scary as it looks. It has a button for most functions, light buttons, outside light buttons, on off, water pump buttons, and then some menus which tell you how much battery power you've got, uh, which is of course fully replenished but all by your solar panel, and it will tell you how much water you've got in your fresh and waste water tanks. Nice and easy to use. Over the cab, you've got a freestanding table which lives in there, which you can place down here or you can place outside. And then looking back down the van, we can see it's a lovely place to be. You've got light cabinet work with contrasting silver greys. This is something you'll start to see in 2020. These greys are coming in just like people have in their house. Very, very on trend. And it's a really nice light place to be. Really good kitchen. Fantastic. This is what sets the British vans apart from the Europeans. We cook in our vans, or some of us do. And if you want to cook in the van, you will not find a fixed bed van conversion with a better um, setup than a Kingham. Because they've not tried to fit in extra berths or forward facing seats like the competitors do they've been able to give you a really nice kitchen so you've got a full combi oven and grill you've got a deep sink with a clip on draining board extra lip lift up worktop there my vocal cords are frozen apologies for that plenty of storage lots of drawers cutlery drawer and then three smaller drawers underneath big pot storage there Loads and loads of space, high level microwave, two more high level cupboards, we've got an extractor unit there, three gas burners, combi oven and grill, your three way fridge freezer of a very good size with a full width freezer compartment which is underneath your wardrobe, which again is a really really good size up there with your TV aerial control in it and your leg for your, um, your secondary table, your coffee table, whatever you may call it. Across from here we've got the good old Auto Sleeper trademark, can't get into it, cocktail cabinet with room for your bottles over there, two of them, you keep your other six somewhere else. Hollywood mirror, we love that, look at that, that's smart isn't it? Underneath of that we got room for your makeup and such like for the discerning gentleman on a Friday night out, lots of nice little upholstered side pockets. And we've got the lovely bed that we saw from the inside that I discovered has the lift up headrest, which is brilliant in fairness to it. So you've got two TV points, there's one here. We can fit your bracket there for a telly if you want to put one there. You've got a roof mounted aerial, another small skylight above rear speakers for running off the cab stereo. One, two, three windows and a skylight above the bed. Really, really nice. And TV bracket there as well with your various TV points and light switches, blinds and fly screens of course on all the windows, four high level storage cupboards and shelves at the back there which is a great thing and then underneath the bed you can access it as I said from the outside up from the inside but you got to do it two handed but loads of storage underneath of there. Your bathroom, oh what's this, have we got a little pull up plug socket tower, yes we do I love that, that's a nice idea. And then your bathroom, if there's a compromise in the van, I would say it might be the washroom. It's a little bit on the Bijou side of things, but this is a 6.34 metre van conversion. It's narrow. Uh, and how much time do you spend in the bathroom? But it's got everything you need. You've got a wash basin. You've got another mirror to go alongside your Hollywood mirror just outside of it. Hanging rail for your shower. I like this. You turn the light on and an extractor comes on, which is really cool. Mirrored vanity unit to the rear and your set for cassette chemical toilet and it's big enough in furnace to it so you just go in there to uh, to have a wash and use the ablutions and if you want to have a shower you can do and I'd say it'll do a job for that most of the time you're on a campsite you use the on-site ones so this is the auto sleep Kingham at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. It is with us in Devon. If you're inquiring, if you ring in during lockdown, our phones are diverted to the Somerset branch, but we are here working. I'm here most days unless it's my day off. And you can put in an internet inquiry uh, and ask about the 2020 on a 70 plate, 450 mile, spectacularly immaculate, unused auto sleeper Kingham at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. So you can ring us and ask to speak to us in Devon and we'll have a chat about this. We can work you out part exchange prices for anything you may wish to part exchange. Dogs, cats, wives, caravans, motorhomes, boats, planes and trains. Uh, you can talk to us about finance and if you really really want to buy the van we are doing subject to viewing deposits um, and sales during lockdown so you can secure the van and we'll have it all nicely prepped not that it needs any prep this it's as new but we'll double check everything just in case we'll have it all nicely set up you can come down after lockdown have a look at it if you like it 
you can uh, keep it and if you don't like it you can have your deposit back for but for anybody thinking of doing that and if you're thinking of buying a new auto sleeper kingham you'd be crazy too when you can buy this one for thousands of pounds less but so if you're thinking of doing that we'd ask that you'd be pretty confident that you're gonna buy the vehicle because demand is very very high and vans are selling out and if you want an auto sleeper kingham or you want a luxury fixed bed van conversions with a brilliant kitchen uh, that's fantastically nicely finished i don't think you'd find a better buy in the country than this one today so contact us today through the website or by calling and ask about our order sleeper kingham 70 plate late 2020 450 miles at a actual bargain price of 54995 at highbridge motorhomes devon branch we are next to the a38 at newton abbott nice and accessible we're not down a country lane and we're very nice people thank you very much goodbye